we're just inspecting this flood water. It's a monster that. It's a bit of a beast of a spray. Absolutely mint. I think it's Thursday morning. I'm just gonna go and pick a bucket up from Nick's other yard. It's a it's a riddle bucket for riddling uh, soil. Because Joe and Andrew Webb want to borrow it to sort out the gateway. So it's at Nick's other yard, so borrow that and then go somewhere with Charlotte later with the kids because it's still Easter holidays. Some chocolate cafe thing there. Um, yeah, Rob was messing with the Bateman yesterday, put the new aerial on it. Um, here it is because yesterday's video ended up that long because of the. It was a needle really trying to wobble that ball. Um, so I didn't show you this yesterday, I cut it out, but it is a there's the inside the Bateman. The aerial on the Bateman GPS come undone. And the new one that's there, you can't unscrew. So Rob's just put in a new one on now. So if you ever wondered what's under the cab of Bateman. Here in this box. Yeah, it's exchanger there for the aircon. Yeah, they're the standard lights and they're the UTV lights. So we've got half the half on to compare one day. Yeah, this is the back of it. That's the back of the radio. That's a module must be for the GPS, the correction signal thing, and that's more stuff for the air conditioning. Quite a lot of stuff under there, isn't there, really? That's the riddle bucket, anyway. So, what you do is you just pick soil up and you shake it, and then it'll pick all the stones and logs and stuff, and then the soil just falls through it. He's got some flowers to sew on a patch, ready for his wedding. Now, just waiting for the council guy, so we're going to go and look at where the field's flooding. So, he's going to come out and we're going to have a look at two different roads that have caused him damage to the field. We're just inspecting this flood water and we've actually found the drain now the water levels drop. This is this isn't the one we were messing with last week. This is the one at Hale Wood. The drain's taking it there, but if you look, you can see all the cleavage coming out there. If I do that. See that I'm still on the skyfall now the field actually looks green which is good it is still wet though from where the water's still flowing out of this drain over here so it's still bubbling up it's obviously not rain for 24 hours so no 12 hours so you can't see that much it's going off still down there uh, down into the hole we dug out which can't take it because there's so much Hence it flowing down the field as well still. So it's still disappearing down that. The guy from the council records there's a man on the opposite side that's also full of that embankment of that road. So the council found this manhole and that's full to about six inches. It goes over there and it's directly in line with the one that's bubbling the other side of the embankment. So they're gonna get in that and chisel back that way and see what they can find. If you look sort of on the overhead map now, you can see the blue blobs where I'm stood. And if you look the other side, you'll see the pylon, which is right by where that's bubbling. Finished look at the drains. Paul, the agronomist here now, uh, talking about the plan for what we can spray. We've got to get the pre-em on the beans because they've sprit and they look quite good, actually. Uh, I'm going to shoot for dinner now with everyone and then I'll be back on the farm. Rob's put the hitch on the van. Just need to put the, uh, the ball and the jaw on it now. Get one of them off cramp. Morgan's going to take that mower off that, sharpen the blades. James is all smart, we're twinning it today. I've had this shirt for a while and Charlotte's been unvinted and got in one for £3, same. So we're gonna go out for dinner. Chocolate challenge. You enjoying that? Perhaps shouldn't have had the bacon butter before it. Oh, it's got skip on it. John Deere Central up here. A slurry speck. See it, James? Can you not see it? 
It's 18 degrees. It's a bit, a bit warmer in Cheshire. Next stop now, we're uh, tractor shopping uh, with Chris. So we've just pulled up at John Bowser's. It's a monster, that. I'm sure I've never seen this before. One for Stephen Lowe. Got the roadless as well, which is a four-wheel drive. I think Chris is after something a bit more modern though. That one looks all right, Chris. Or do you want to solace there's your, your budget? This one's brand new. Check it. Yep, seems all right. Oh, this one's got chrome on it. Yep, it's all right. That'll do, you have to unload your straw by hand, will you? Put little bales up with that grab. Plenty to choose from. Is that a Q series, that big one? Or do the Q series have Valter written down the bonnet different? No, it's a T. That's the same as ours, but white. Yeah, got, got, a, got a homemade exhaust. Homemade exhaust what happened yeah. to this? It's been spreading salt. It's a bit of a beast of a sprayer, that. I think it's 24 metre fold up on the back. The fast track, and then that's smart, that. Got a loader on it as well. 73, what are we on? We're on 24 now, aren't we? Looks new though. Got a bit of a selection of choppers in. Some rakes. Look at that, supplied by Birches. Nearly every tractor in here in Lancashire used to have one of them stickers on at one point. No longer around. This is all the tedders and the rakes. It's a monster, that one. That'll do you, Chris. You've only got to go around the headland. How many throats is that? Six, eight. No, there's two on the back. One, two, three, four. Ten. Sixteen metre. Four either side and two on the back. Big mower. Fourteen. Four, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's only ten. Um, a couple of tedders here. No way, look how that folds up. Spent a long time stood next to one of these. Sp Cooch Spud Riddler. With a roller table as well. Used to bag spuds off the end of it. The roller ones used to turn the spuds so you could see for damaged ones. But the one we had before it, I think, had a metal bed. Used to squeak. Like, yeah, as it went round. Not done a lot of work today, have I? Let's <laughs> go and have a look at some solaces again. Sheffins Cambridge Vintage Sale, 19th Saturday and 20th of April, and they've got loads of MB tracks in them. It's 1500 as well, somewhere. Where's it gone? I don't know what page it was on. There you go. Oh, that's a thousand as well. They've got, they've got loads in there, aren't they? Because there's 1,500 on one page. Yeah. 1,500 on one page, followed by about half a dozen thousand, is it? Yeah, yeah. Can't find it now. It's in there somewhere, anyway. That's, that's, a, that's a 1,500 and a massive 1,200. Yeah. But I'm sure there's another 1,500 on another page. It's, it's better. There's definitely a market for people... So John's just been telling me. So see how this is Fordson. It's got a roadless front axle on it. See, absolutely mint. County, obviously, four-wheel drive. But look at this, international. No, sorry, wrong one. Yeah, it is, no, this one. 
This has got a roadless four wheel drive axle on it. Again, immaculate. And then this one here, totally original. Roadless front axle, B for British. It means it's made in Britain. So that was made in Doncaster, where they used to make, so that's sort of like 585 case we've got come out of the Doncaster. But yeah, that was made there. And there's an immaculate 7710 for sale. And then a roadless 118, again, four wheel drive. So they're all sort of four wheel drive tractors. A lot of them were four wheel drive before their time. So that was sent to International to be put on as it went down the production line rather than converted later on, like some of the others were. But yeah, quite a collection that he's acquired recently. There we go. Back from Bounds, it's now going to do the birthdays. It's a bit random one today, I'll show you in a sec. Sophie Landers, 2, Drew Douglas is 82, Arthur Smith's 12, Jess Sharp's 21, Rowan Matthews is 14, Stephanie Atherton is 57, Harriet Garrett's on there. Now, this is where it starts to get complicated. Well, not complicated, but weird. Richard Brown is 59, but look, three people at 65. We've got Alan Mc Ken Stokes is on there, Alan McCann and Tracy Ralph are all 65 today, all retiring probably. Emma Bond's 35, and we're now up to £64,270. So, happy birthday, everyone, today. Rained again while we've been looking at tractors, cold as well. Anyway, most random video today. Drains, tractors, chocolate. Yeah, anyway, uh, normal business resumed tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.